Hello guys! I am back again with a new educational video. If this is your first time here in my channel, I am making video tutorials of English lessons and if you want more educational content from me, do not forget to subscribe. Kindly click on the red button that says subscribe and also do not forget to ring the bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Before anything else, please do hit the thumbs up icon Kindly like this video. Thank you. You can also connect with me through Facebook. Just look for Teachers Ko or you can find the link in the description box below. Good day to our amazing grade 10 learners. I hope that you're doing well. Before we start this learning activity, can you please type in your school or location in the comment section? Welcome to another lesson in English 10. It's me again, Teacher Scott, and I will be helping you in understanding our new lesson today. For this video lesson, we will be talking about multimodal and its elements. What are we waiting for? Let's start with our discussion. Communication is not only relaying messages through voice and letters. Whenever we communicate, we use several processes called modes. These modes are our way of communicating and creating meaning. This includes the processes or modes of reading, speaking, writing, listening, and viewing. When we combine these modes, we will form what we call multimodal texts. When we say multimodal texts, these are instructional resources that incorporate various modes of communication. Just like what we said in the previous slide, it can be the combination of listening, speaking, reading, writing, and viewing. At this point, we're going to talk about the elements of multimodal text. The first element of multimodal text is linguistic. This includes vocabulary, structures, the grammar of both oral and written language. Linguistic is not always the most important mode. This depends on the other modes at play in the text. However, this is probably the most widely used element because it can be both read and heard on both paper and radio. The second element is visual. This includes colors, vectors, and viewpoints of still and moving images. The third element is audio or oral. This includes the volume, pitch, and rhythm of the music and sounds. Gestural is the fourth element of the multimodal text. Gestural includes movement, facial expression, and body language. In simplest terms, gestural mode refers to the way movement is interpreted. The fifth and last element of the multimodal text is spatial. As the name implies, spatial mode refers to proximity, direction, position of layout, and the arrangement of objects in space. Moreover, multimodal texts are often live, digital, and paper-based. Let us talk about these in the succeeding slides. When we say live multimodal texts, these are shown through combinations of different modes such as gestural, spatial, 
and oral language. In other words, live multimodal text involves a presentation in which both the performers and audience are physically present. Some examples of multimodal text are dance performances and oral presentations. The next thing that we'll be talking about is digital multimodal text. Digital multimodal text is presented through dynamic combinations of various modes across written and spoken language, still and moving visual image, audio, gesture, and spatial communicative resources. Some of its examples are films, animations, slideshows, e-posters, this video lesson, and many more. A multimodal text can also be paper-based. This is conveyed through the reader's varying combinations of written language and still images or those pictures which are not moving. Meaning to say, the paper-based multimodal text is something that is printed. For instance, we have infographics, posters, comics, and pictures. This ends our discussion for the multimodal text and its elements. Familiarizing ourselves with the multimodal text is an effective way to know the different methods of learning. Also, multimodal text will enhance the retention of knowledge. Hope that this video helps you. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. You can also share the video lesson to your classmates and friends. And if you have questions or suggestions, feel free to type them in the comment section. You can also watch the other videos that I uploaded in this channel. You can check the link in the description box below. If you want to have some background music as you work on your module or as you rest, you can also play the relaxing music that I have in this channel. For more educational videos, kindly click on the red button that says subscribe and ring the bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you. See you in my next video. God bless everyone.